So we are replacing our laptop screen and before we do anything we're going to do a shutdown. This screen uh, I have removed once before and I will share with you some of the things that I had to do. Um, it's like I'm removing it again except there was a little dot here like a little plastic tab covering it and I um, removed that just by scraping it with a screwdriver. I really like these screwdrivers because you can just hold the top here and I don't know maybe there are a lot of screwdrivers that are like that but this is my husband's set and to be sure to put the screws someplace safe you don't want them rolling away or anything like that and if when you take the screws off uh, note where they are because you might find that uh, maybe the screws in one area are a different size than the screws in the other. So now we're going to get a flat head. So that was a Phillips head. Now we'll get a flat head and we're just going to, it's off now so I know I'm not going to short anything. And you just sort of um, try to nudge it between the laptop bezel and the rest of it. So I'm going to um, adjust the view here a little so you can see. So this is what I did last time and it worked pretty well. I just sort of nudged this, see? I don't know if you can see that, but just easily inserting in this corner the, um, the screwdriver. It's a fine screwdriver, so... Um, ...finding the bezel and finding the clips and separating them from the bezel. At some point it's just going to come, but I want to go slowly because I don't want to break any of the clips because that's sort of annoying when you're trying to fix something and something else breaks, right? So I'm going to adjust this view so you can see a little bit better. Okay. And so I'm just going to tell you I am no expert, as it's pretty obvious, I'm sure. Um, you know, I take things from a, a DIYer's perspective. So some of these clips are already disengaged. I didn't work really hard to put it back together earlier because I wanted to, I knew I was going to come back in and work on it again. So now I'm just trying to make sure you're in focus. So sorry about my crazy table. So now I've gotten about two-fifths of it out. I'm just going to keep going. Okay, so then now we have the whole thing off. And I can pull this forward. Okay. okay, what's going on here? Okay, pull this forward and lift it up. See, so that came pretty easily. It's kind of yucky. Now there were two screw. There were two screws here. I replaced one of them before um, when I was putting it back together. I guess I must have replaced two. Because oh no, that. So then there was another one here. So I am not having to remove that one because I removed it when I was checking the part number. So what I really liked about this laptopscreens.com website was that when I was checking the part number, um, and honestly, I probably could have done it. I might have been able to do it without um, specifying the part number, but I had some trouble figuring it all out and uh, I was able to chat with a fellow online and that was really nice because you know then he could just point me to the link that says okay this is the part number because I've done some searching on Amazon and there were all these questions that people were asking about um, whether they um, 
about what the part number was and it was always like, okay, check the part number, you gotta take the screen off. So I think if I had just like gone to laptop.com and put in the, the make and model and the model subtype, I wouldn't have had to deal with this. But I, you can see my other email. So then now here I am. So the screen is mostly disengaged except there's this connector here. So uh, you might wanna ground yourself with something, touch metal. Um, there's a little tape. They tell you take the tape off, and um, then there is a connector. I'm always amazed at this tiny little connector. This is for the cable. Urk. So that helps to hold the cable onto the... Oh good, and it came off pretty easily. Did you see that? So then this now goes in here. differences in the screen. So um, then put this back here, put it back here. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Okay, so now we go back and we make sure we use the same screws. Hopefully I got the same screws. Right, so this uh, screwdriver is also magnetic, which is kind of cool. Okay, good. Pull off this. I think we can... Okay, let's, I think, uh, let's um, boot it up before we go, screw everything on. Hey, it's working. I don't even have to wait. Nice. Let's wait and see all of those pretty pixels. <laughs> So you can see, hey, that works. Now I can still, I guess I could still um, screw this in. Why am I waiting for that to boot up? Because there's nothing that I'm going to mess up by doing that. 